Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another mediocre episode of Network Admin Life, coming to you from uh, our innovation lab. It's actually a uh, converted little canteen restaurant that uh, is here on the grounds, um, and it's been converted into a lab that looks very much like here. Uh, looks very much like that. All kinds of stuff. We've even got a door. Look at that. So just a place where they can come and brainstorm and come up with all kinds of harebrained, I mean, amazing ideas <laughs> to, uh, to help treat patients. Um, coming to you this week, here, I'm going to take this off. Um, this is the kind of mask I wear, by the way, just the standard, almost like a surgeon's mask. I like it because I can just flip it down and, and wear it like this most of the day until I need it and then flip it right back up. So I know some people wear the masks that go over their ears, but just ends up making my ears look like dopey like that. Yeah. I'm too pretty to look like dopey. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so coming to you this week uh, with uh, my problem of the week. Um, so we have uh, a switch here that I, I updated. We had an old 48 port uh, legacy switch, the older uh, Interacis switch. Um, like I said, 48 ports, only two ports were in use. One was the wireless access point and the other was just a port on the wall here. Um, most of them use wireless in here. They, they rarely use uh, hardwired ports. Um, I think the only thing plugged into it is the uh, television that I pointed to earlier. Um, so I, re I replaced it with a smaller 12 port switch. Um, number one, they don't need 48 port density in here. And number two, it's quieter. Um, the old switch, the fans were very loud and uh, it was disturbing them. And uh, these 12 port switches, um, they're very quiet, very quiet. So I replaced it. Um, but I ran into a couple of problems. Um, the 48 port switch we had here before had a 10 gig connector in it, uh, 10 big. 10 gig GBIC that was um, connected over to another switch here across the street in our uh, HVAC building. Um, and that was working, that was working just fine. Um, the two switches were the exact same type of switch. And uh, here's the exact uh, GBIC that was in there. It's just an extreme, I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if I can unblur that. Let me, let me get out of the way, see if it'll focus. Well, it's not going to focus. Anyway, this is this is the GBIC I was using right here. Um, this was on both ends. So my thought was, okay, I'm just going to put the new switch in, take this one out of the old switch, put it in the new switch. There's already one of these at the far end, um, and it would all just, just work just fine. Um, well, it didn't. Uh, and let me share something with you here. Let me actually, let me turn on my mouse so it's easier. Um, I am gonna share which window? This window with you. Go ahead and share that. Um, so you can see, I have this, this one that I showed you just a few minutes ago. Um, it is plugged into port 13 right now. And if you look, you'll see a little exclamation point right there in the front. And what does that exclamation point mean? Well, if you look down here, it says unsupported. Okay, great. So I went and got one of the uh, GBICs that, um, that is supported, which is one of these. Um, these are the GBICs we ordered with these switches. Um, these are supposed to, these, these work just fine in the newer X440s, X460s. So I grabbed one of these, plugged it in, um, but I got another error. Um, here, I'm just gonna share my whole screen this time because it's, it's easier. Uh, there we go. So you can see me too. Um, but what I got before, what I got then when I put this this GBIC in um, was, and it, it 
it came up with the right uh, type, which is right here. If you can see that, SFP long range, SFP plus. Um, but the problem is it also had this dollar sign, which means unlicensed. Okay, great. So I went back, I generated a license from Extreme. I applied the license to the switch, plugged this guy back in and uh, into both, both sides, the far end switch and this switch over here. Came up on this side, no problem. And the port showed active on the far end switch, which is actually this guy back here. Um, we could see the, actually, I, I should, let me rephrase. We could see the switch, or we could see the GBIC. And this, this is the status it was giving me right here. So we could see it. It couldn't quite tell what type it was. Um, wasn't showing up as an SFP plus. Um, it did see that it was a long range one and it was a 10 gig, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. So this newer GBIC is not compatible with my older switches, which is odd because usually they work with just anything you plug into them, but it wasn't working. So I said, all right, well, I've got the license now for 10 gig. Um, that's the license I had to uh, apply. Um, that's why it was showing up as unlicensed over here on the switch I replaced. I said, all right, well, this is a 10 gig. I'm going to put it in here now that it's licensed and it should work. Well, it didn't. It still came up as what you see right here. I've got one plugged in there right now, one of these. And um, here, let me, let me do this so it's not refreshing all the time. I'm going to do 13 through 16, no refresh. Uh, Oh, what's the command? Uh, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out a command here. All right, I don't know. I don't know why it's not, not working, but... So we'll just do this. Okay, this way I can highlight something without it going away all the time. So this is plugged in there over there right now and it's still showing up as unsupported. As you can see down here, that exclamation point means unsupported. Okay. So I tried putting one of these on both ends. I tried putting one of these on both ends. Then I thought, okay, well this is supported in the switch across the street. This is supported in the switch right here. Let's try plugging those two in like this. No, that didn't work either. Um, even though they're both SFP plus long ranges, they won't talk to each other. So that's just wonderful. So what I ended up having to do was fall back to a, just a regular one gig GBIC, um, which I don't have a sample up to show you because they're both plugged in right there. Those are on each end. Um, that's denoted by this one down here, this SX. Um, that's on both sides. See which one is that one's in TG149. Uh, no, it's in T it's in GE148. So here it is. It's showing up as a SX over there as well. So that's my conundrum. Um, I'm still having the conundrum. I haven't figured out a solution for it yet. Um, it's OM4 fiber for anybody who's curious, um, which this should work with. So I'm a little confused as to why this isn't working. And for those of you who are saying, well, you're a network admin, why are you confused? Well, because I am. <laughs> I'll tell you what I, what I tell everybody. I am the best network administrator available in this price range. I'm not the best available, but I am the best available in this price range. Um, so I'm going to toss it out there to see if anybody has any ideas of what I could try. Um, please don't tell me to pull new fiber because that's not going to happen. That would involve, you know, digging up the street and we're not going to do that. Um, I, I don't know. I, I suppose I could try to buy some different GBIX, but uh, I, you know, we're, we're in a budget crunch right now with the, uh, 
the hospital is not allowed to treat anyone but COVID patients right now. Um, so we're in a bit of a budget crunch as well. So um, yeah, so I'm, I'm open to ideas of things I can try with what I have on hand. Um, I would appreciate the help. So that's all I have for this week. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, we're going to have some uh, pretty good content coming up pretty soon. Um, our uh, our uh, flying club has finally opened back up. So uh, if you'll remember, I've done some videos from the airplane. Um, so I'm going flying tomorrow. I'm going to record another video where I'm going to talk about something. I don't know what. Um, maybe I'll talk about some things that are going on here at work that, uh, that I don't really care for. Um, and the, the special treat that's coming up is we're going to have a special episode of Network Admin Wife. I'm going to uh, interview my wife and uh, see, uh, get her input on what it's like being married to a network admin, which I'm sure will be fascinating. Fascinating for you, probably embarrassing for me. So uh, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you just stumbled across this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, just to feed my ego, if nothing else. Um, no, I'm just kidding. You don't have to subscribe. Watch if you want. Watch if you don't watch if you don't want. Um, like I said, I am not the, the end-all, be-all uh, guru um, for being a network administrator. I'm just trying to share what my job is like from my perspective. So thank you, everybody, for watching. God bless and uh, Soli Deo Gloria. <laughs>